Hey guys, what's up? This is Cameron here, back again with another video. And in this video, I would like to talk about a new update which came, Marshmallow update which came on my phone HTC One E9. As of now, I am keeping a Google Launcher browser, so that's why I can you can see a horizontal view of my phone. So the Marshmallow update has brought some new features to my HTC One E8. So let's have a look. First thing which comes to my, which was pretty notib noticeable was the this do not disturb thing which you can see over here. When I keep it over here, then it becomes a totally the do not disturb mode gets off basically. And then uh, when I keep it on, then it gives me all these option on until you turn this off for one hour and then play alarms and stuff. And if you click over here you can see that you can actually set a volume for how much you want for your ringtone how much volume you want for your ringtone or your alarms and stuff so yeah it's pretty nice feature little feature okay next feature which I like is the doors uh, not those it's the navigation button option over here if you notice then you can see there's a hide notification button over here when I click it gets hidden then when I swipe up again then it's visible so if I uncheck this option and do done then over here you can notice that that option has been disappeared from the navigation button and then I can put if I tick the navigation then I get this button wherein I can just click and then I can get the navigation thing going on the next feature which which I like is the storage and USB option basically what this feature does it does is that your phone your SD card can be turned into an internal storage which you can see I have done it over here and then you won't have to worry about the space running out in your internal storage in the phone storage so that's a very good and useful feature but I would advise you guys that for doing this you need a really good USB card of at least class 3 UHS speed ultra high speed because otherwise if you don't have a good SD card then your phone would lag a lot the speed would affect and then the most popular feature of Android Marshmallow was the dose feature although my HTC all, already has a power saving mode and extreme power saving mode S but uh, now over here you can see there's a battery optimization option so what this does is, is that uh, basically it it makes your apps go into hibernation mode when the phone is not charging or the phone is kept idle for a long time so the phone identifies this and the f the activities are delayed of course you can you know, exempt certain apps which you feel that st should still keep on running in the background and besides that feature there's also a memory feature over here you can see so you can actually find out which are your apps are using more of the battery more of the memories so you can plan accordingly when you are going to run a heavy app you can probably turn off those apps and then besides these there are some new emojis in here and there and uh, and there has been some little tweaks in here and there and another big improvement what is that if you go into the apps you can actually set uh, you can actually set priority to the apps you can set you can give permissions to apps whether they can access your certain your phone information I don't know why it's showing as of now I don't know why it's not showing in my phone but you can set permission app permissions as you can see over here so you can see the one of the Bobby one of the apps has been allowed of for body sensors that is a google play and then calendar has been used by some all these apps they can access camera is used by 
these apps which I'm going to load now these all apps they can access my camera so if I simply turn it off then it, they won't be able to access the camera at all so this is a pretty good and handy feature and uh, which I'm sure many of you guys will find it pretty useful so and then besides this um, I don't feel there is any much notable noticeable or uh, or any feature which might be helpful of course there's a hidden UI feature but uh, it's not accessible in the in the HTC phones wherein if you press and hold this thing then there's a hidden option which comes up very hidden UI where you have certain more features which are basically hidden from the phone settings and before getting to that you need to enable your developers option so that's it guys for the video there wasn't much update and besides that the phone my phone has become quite smooth and runs pretty nice as compared to the previous so these were my some of my good uh, some of my favorite features in the android marshmallow which i use and uh, i wanted to share it with you guys so thanks for watching and if you like the video please don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe for more such videos till next time bye bye good night take care